Hi everyone, my name is Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. This is part two of my 500th episode and in part two we're going to make a gorgeous easel card using lots of my favourite things. So please be sure to check my blog for all the details of the items that we use because you never know I might even forget to mention something. Check the blog because there's always lots of photos on there of the project and especially when I make a card that's got an inside and an outside, I always take photos of the outside as well. So for this card, comment away, please comment on Facebook, please, you know, I can get back to you on Facebook, you can send me a direct message, let me know if you've enjoyed the episode, let me know if you've liked the card. Let me know what you think of my backdrop, you know, just let me know what you think. I can't get back to you on YouTube and I know sound like a parrot but there's a glitch with my account so my replies just disappear so I write a reply to you and then within a couple of days my reply goes and it's very random so the easiest thing is you comment away I read all of them because I have to authorise them but I can't answer you so I do keep trying but they just disappear so you can get back to me directly through my blog um, you can contact me on there directly there's a contact button and then as I say on Facebook you can always message me so sit back and relax and here's the tutorial for card number 500 so now you've seen the card that we're going to make in advance I thought we best have a look at the things that we're going to use to actually make the card so we're going to start off, because these are all my favourite things, shall we say. Um, these are Anna's chalkboard stamps. And we're using the stamp at the bottom. Congratulations. I love these stamps. And they're my go-to set for lots of things. When I have a quick card to make or I want something that I just haven't got a clue what to do. Because believe it, sometimes... I don't always have that creative urge so I always turn to these but that's the stamp we're going to use next we're going to use paper tricks 2 and paper tricks 2 is a paper manipulating kit that um, Anna brought out now we're going to use the half circle because we're going to make where you've just seen the paper folded fans on there. Now I've already done a, a video previously about making the fans. So we're going to use that one and then we're also using that. That's what we use to put the folds in it and then you mountain and valley fold it to create the little fan. And the only difference is the th three of these stuck together. So that's what I've used for the actual paper folding and then everybody's favourite the easel card die now I thought long and hard about what to do for my 500th episode and what kind of card and whether to use to make a scrapbook page whether to do stamping I asked for suggestions and I actually took a step back and I thought you know what the most popular things I've created and the most enjoyable for me and touching on create from last year at easel cards they just stand up so proud they always look so gorgeous and I thought I think it would only be fitting to use my favorite die set for the easel cards so I've kind of stuck with again my favorites and one of the papers, now he might not have seen this um, too well when he saw the card, but this is the Blackbird paper from years ago from Anna. It's always been my favourite paper. And I'm just so happy I've still got a few sheets left to use. Okay, so let's make a card. Now I've die cut the easel die, the actual outline shape, this one. For anybody who's never used it so that's the long die I've die cut it in a red metallic cardstock I've stamped it added my name 
500. And then I've just added tape at one side and that's just on the edge that we're going to fold. I've also die cut the base shape, nothing on the back. We don't need anything on the back, not yet. And now we're going to put the easel together. Now I've not even folded this because I think previously I'd already done the fold. So what we do is I'm just going to turn it over. I'm going to fold it, add, um, add, use my bone fold to make sure that is a really sharp crease. And then I'm going to do the same with the tab and use the bone folder on there. Then the neck, you take the tape away. You can do it where the card's folded. Take the tape away. And you do only need tape on this tab section. And then we take the extra section. We marry up the layers so they are the right way around. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? And um, then marry them up, line them up and press down. And that gives us our easel shape. So that's easy enough. Now we're going to decorate it. I'm going to start with the inside. I've got a black layer of cardstock. And this is from the shadow layer. And I'm just going to pop that down as my first layer. And then I've got a piece of the gorgeous blackbird paper. Now I know you're all going to say, where can I get this from? Well, unfortunately, um, you can't. It's simple. Unless you find somebody that's got small stock. You could use any of Anna's paper. I'm using this because it's just with it being a special episode. And I know you're all going to write in and say, oh, you shouldn't have used that because I can't get hold of it. Well, I'm sorry, it's my episode and I can use what I like. I know that sounds terrible, but, you know, let's go with our favourites. Why don't you use your favourites? So there's plenty of Anna papers that have got the dark background and will work just as well. So I'm going to place the ornate layer over the previous layer and press it down. Now I've got tape on the back of mine just for quickness. You could use wet glue if you wanted to add all the little uh, ornate pieces and press those down. So now I'm just going to turn my attention to the front because I'll put the stopper on towards the end. Now the front is the same layers as we've just used for the inside. Layer of plain black cardstock like that for the shadow layer and then the layer of our blackbird paper and again I've just got tape on it I haven't got wet glue towards the edges or anything and see it just looks so stunning already the contrasts okay next what I've done is I've taken some of the gold roses from the gold um, flourish collection and they're all stickers. I've taken the back away but I've got 3D foam towards the top and I'm going to add one of the roses towards the top and I've got a second one that I'm going to add at the bottom. Same effect, use the sticker and 3D foam and just press those down. Next, from the Anna Griffin cross die collection, I've die cut two of the oval hmm, sunbursts, shall we call them. And on one of them I've got 3D foam, on one of them I've got 3D foam and flat tape. The one that's got flat tape on 
I'm going to simply position over the top of the second one and then hopefully just marry them up a little bit like that and it elongates it. Now we're covering the centre up anyway so now I can add that to the front of my easel card like so. Next, I can take the actual paper folding that we've created. So this was using Paper Tricks 2, three fans, I've done it twice, so it's six fans in total, but three of them are stuck together and they're individual but then we've stuck them together. As I say, I have done a video for it before. Um, I will add the link for that. I've got flat tape on the back of it and I'm simply adding them through the centre of my easel card, like so. I've then taken another one of the gold flourish stickers and I'm simply going to add that over the centre of the actual paper folding. Now this is where the chalkboard stamps come in. What I've done is I've stamped the words congratulations on a piece of cardstock and I've also stamped on the back. Now if you can see I've made the centre stamp that's the perfect stamp because that's the thing we're going to see through the actual middle. And then I've stamped, I've carried on. You can make it as long as you want, but I just went with, um, I think it's seven inches is this. Um, let me just have a look with my trusty, no, it's just over six inches. It was a piece of scrap actually. You can make it as long or short as you want. So that's the sentiment that we'd use in the middle. That's going to be the focal point. Now I've stamped on the back as well, just on the back side of the two edge stamps. Because then to create the curl that we have, we're going to curl the sides in. And because we curl them in, we're then going to see the back of the cardstock. So use um, your poker tool or maybe a pencil or a knitting needle, whatever you've got. The finer the point on whatever you use, the finer the roll will be of the cardstock. So if you just work it a little bit and then roll it and uh, then you stick it down. And then the other side, you do it the other way. If you roll it into itself but turn it round and then just roll it away I'm doing this really quickly you're going to take more time and then that way you've got both sides rolled like a scroll so that's my scroll and I've got 3D foam on the back of it and I want it just to sit through the centre of my card just kind of over the the center panel I'm then going to add some mini flowers from the mini flowers and sentiment sticker collection and I'm going to just add those around the edge just dotted about and it doesn't matter whether they hang over the edge or whether they're just over some of the design or just tucked under. They're just giving it that extra colour. And then I'm going to finish it with just a large gold bow in one corner. We'll stick with that one. There we go. And that's the front of our easel created. Lots of layers. Oh, like that and then the inside we need a stopper for the inside because we need it to stand up so we'll just turn that over 
Now the stopper we're going to use, we're going to use some of the gold roses that we've used before with the, um, instead of the sticker I've added the 3D foam on the back. So I'm just going to pop those just along the edge of the inside of the card and then I've stamped out happy anniversary happy anniversary um, from the chalkboard stamps and put it on 3D foam and I'm going to position that just over the top of the gold roses and that can act as our stopper for our easel card and there you can see it works perfectly and I'm going to tilt it that way so that you can see oh that works doesn't it it's my new camera I've got like lots of hand space you see and it just looks so cool how gorgeous is that the paper folding the die cutting of the easel the different mix of the colours and what a gorgeous card now I really really hope that you have enjoyed my 500th episode and I want to say a massive massive I know I've said this before I want to say a massive thank you to everybody whether you've watched one episode or all 500 it's just a big thank you from me to you and here's to 500 more please check the blog out for lots of photos and please share and I just hope you've enjoyed it it's been a little bit different we're going to go back to normal now and um, thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time <laughs>